it's a nice foggy cool morning to get out on a boat and that's what i'm getting to do today i'm going out with a buddy he's uh he, he we went out a few weeks ago and we, we struggled we caught a few fish we lost several but um the weather's really changed and he, he's invited me back out in his boat so i'm really excited to get back out there um part of the chickamauga area you know some some parts of the tennessee river here and uh hopefully we can get on some fish and um fall's coming on oh my windshield wipers aren't working all of a sudden yeah anyways uh, i i'm a little late so um i got my ego bag my fishing pole is like all ready to go so everything's loaded up so i'm just gonna get there jump out of the truck and uh get out in the boat and uh, hopefully start getting some fish that fog There's something in here, come on. Here we go! Get me a fish in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got one. I'm just happy I got a fish. All righty. Look at this fog. We've been trying to get out of this little cove, but it's so thick we can't even get out. Or, you know, don't want to go down the river like that. So, hey, I got a fish though on the spinnerbait. Well, give me something to snack on. What else you got in there? You got let me, look, let me look through the snack box. That's what I need. My confidence is running low. I need food to, to make me feel better. Oh, man. You got all kinds of stuff in there. Oh, a honey bun sounds good. Oh, ho! I'm gonna need a net. <laughs> Got a green sunfish in the head. There's a little guy. He's right off the bank. Well, I'll get him in here. There we go. Another one on the spinner. Large math. Something is swimming. <laughs> oh man, look at that little guy. That was funny. Wait, is that a small mouth or a mean mouth? Check this one out. That looks like a small mouth to me. Small mouth, he's just, it's real light colored, but <laughs> it was just, how did he get the thing in his mouth? I just saw my line like starting to swim. <laughs> what? All right, there's, there's the trophies that we go for around here. Okay, take a good look, people. <laughs> Man, oh yeah, look at the whole school of them right there. All those little ones. Yeah. <laughs> I got one of them. There's gotta be I'm not telling how many bass that says right over there chasing those minnows. Hey, all kinds of them. Wow, yeah, that was a uh, oh, pretty rough day out there for sure. Uh, solid eight hours on the boat, the, the little fish to show. But you know what? I'm going to go think about the good that came out of this day while I go get some Pogoloco. 
Oh yes, I feel much better right now. So what's our, uh, I'm gonna got three takeaways, some good things that came from today. I guess number one was, got to go fishing. You know, got to go out there and do fishing. Number two, I got to go fishing. Number three, I got to go fishing. And oh, let me throw one more in. I got a lot of practice in on my bait caster and casting and stuff. But hold on, this is a two part video. And uh, I got more deep life lessons coming in the next part of this video. So make sure you stay tuned to the end. Well, I'm gonna do something a little different today. I'm fishing, but I'm fishing for food. Got Damien over here. Look at him working. He's over there working hard trying to get his lure on. But anyway, I, I brought some uh, some night crawlers and some mealworms, and uh, Damien and Mark are up here. And uh, Chris may end up joining sometime. I messaged him. But we're just gonna hit a few of the spots where I can usually just catch some panfish and stuff. And he's gonna want to take some home. Ooh, I think he just got one over there. So we're gonna see what we can get. Well, they're bot. Oh, oh, got him. There we go. Oh, mine came off again. That's a good bluegill. Yeah. I, I'm just losing everything. Mark's got him a good bluegill over there. I've, I've lost about seven fish. At least I'm getting bites. He hit again. Hey, I got one in. You got, we just tripled up all of a sudden. Nice, Damien. Let's get a bluegill. I don't know what happened to him. He's just got caught in the gill. Mine's a red ear. There he is. Ooh, it's a good one. Nice. Look at that one. That's a solid bluegill. That's a good one. Oh. Here, hold that thing. See if you can catch that fish. It keeps biting. Ooh. Oh man, gotta take a look at this one. Goodness, why'd I give you my pole? I don't know. I gotta get this one. That's a big old red ear. Hey, I got one bigger than this though. You gonna, you're covering up his whole body. Hand, his body. Look at that red, hold on. Look at that red, that is awesome looking right there on his gill. But he's going in the cooler for eating later. Eating, or eating now. How we don't eat it now? We're getting cook it. Oh, my goodness, son. All right, hold that one up to the camera real quick. All of a sudden, yeah, that's a, that's a cooler one there. <laughs> Those are nice fish. <laughs> this is a fishing machine. That's a good, that's a good bluegill. There we go. There we go. I got one. Oh, I got me tangled up in my other line. There we go. Let me take that bluegill. Heard your what? Church singing voice. Church singing voice? Yeah. You gotta change it up? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Damien, look at that. What's going on, huh? What? I am just getting the good ones. I don't remember it. Ooh. Oh, nice. <laughs> you ain't done with them yet. Man, Damon's catching these slab bread here. Look how thick these things are. Oh, whoa, whoa. Ow. They're right there on the bank. Oh. They're like two or three feet off the bank. That was a little red ear. Red ear and bluegill both mixed in there. It's crazy though, more red ear. I'm just going for the big ones now. Get them in. Yeah. We ain't caught a skinny one today, have we? Oh. There we go. That's a good bluegill. I gotta edit, but I did just the other day where I caught a bunch of spotted bass out of the creek. Man, they were hammering it. Well, we moved to location number two, and uh, it's the same creek, it's just a lot further downstream, so it's a lot bigger water. And uh, we're still going for panfish, even though we caught a bunch with the other one. We're still going for panfish, but also hopefully some catfish in this spot. And here's where things went wrong. Man, we had a good thing going at the first place. 
We fished about an hour and a half and we were just catching all kinds of good bluegill and red ear. We decided to move to one spot, fish there about 45 minutes, not a bite. Decided to move to another spot, fish there about 30 minutes, not a bite. Then we went up to the road and fished another spot and couldn't get another fish. So we, we left that first place catching fish, went to three different places after that and didn't catch, I think maybe one more fish the whole time. So here's my takeaway from that. We, we also talked about it um, together when we were after like when we got to those last spots like we were catching fish if you're if you're catching fish in one place don't leave and try to go catch fish in another place they were biting good we were like oh we're, we'll go over there and bite them and probably catch bigger ones at another spot we, we didn't get nothing else so if you're getting fish be thankful for what you got and just stick there and catch some fish thanks for watching